Hi, this is Larry Greenblatt. A question that has gotten a lot, a lot of debate in my class over the years is uh, DNS and at what layer does it work? It depends. So the question is, to establish a session with a public web server, there are a number of basic network requirements, including getting the MAC address of the default gateway using ARP, the address resolution protocol, and then providing the router with the destination IP address. Since users typically refer to servers by name, DNS is used to provide the service without user intervention. Which of the following is most true about the role of DNS in a TLS connection over 443? Taken first of all, let's just boil down this question. These four answers are about the role of DNS and maybe in a TLS connection, because DNS has the same role pretty much everywhere, or basically the same role, but not always. All right, so A, DNS provides TCP services. I don't want to go too deep here, but not exactly, uh, at, at the transport layer. No, it's never considered a transport layer protocol that I've seen, so it's not A. DNS replies are typically signed replies. Oh, if only everybody did roll out DNSSEC. No, that, that's uh, that's not typically true. And, and at the network layer, that's not true. So it's not A or B. C, replies contain the IP address of the server and are considered presentation layer services. Never heard it that way. D, DNS is an application layer protocol. It's not an app that I work with. Let's see what's going on here. Please know that the internet runs on TCP IP. Most applications with a Firefox browser or whatever, it, it, it takes its data that I communicate back and forth, puts it in a TCP header. It's like a little envelope to, uh, you know, port 443 from whatever port number my, my client picked and a couple other things there. And then I need to get the IP address to write on the container, you know, uh, make sure this goes to the IP address of whatever the ISC square. So in the TCP IP model, which goes back where we're in the 80s, um, they added an underlying application, DNS, that my Firefox or whatever, any, any type of thing would do, uh, that would refer to it to provide that service. So I'm getting the IP address from an application layer service. So simple, right? You got to be careful when, remember I said, uh, if you're in my class, that a CISSP is like a waiter. And you have to be familiar with various menus. Oh, that's not what they call it at NIST, you know. That's not what they call it at the ISO, you know. So you have to know the TCP IP model is not the most common menu. Most people refer to things on the OSI model. So... The real big difference is you just got a little more granular. Web browsers are applications that present data in a uh, HTML format, and DNS is used to establish a session. If you ask me what layer of the OSI model, you know, on that menu, I would say it's at the session layer. But this question didn't make that a choice, did they? In fact, nowhere in there does it say OSI. So the answer here is it's an application layer protocol if you're reading off of the TCP IP menu. I hope that helps. Again, if you ask me what layer of the OSI model and you add session in there, I'd pick session. But, you know, DNS actually predates that. So I don't, I've never seen anybody actually ask that question. On a real test, it's always been easy. <laughs> so. All right. I hope that's helped some people. And I hope to see you in one of my classes. All right, bye now.